Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 145. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the 500 horsepower all wheel drive shootout. We got another five drag racing events to do. 500, 550, it, it basically goes up in increments of 50 horsepower. Uh, I'm not going to do an introduction for each championship. I'm just going to get into them, same as we did with the last episode. Um, but we are going to pick the four, uh, the three most fastest vehicles that we have here. Um, but what I will do is upgrade the Peugeot to be a little bit quicker. So let's get and do that. All right, here we go. Um, Brembo. Brembo brakes. Holy shit, that had some acceleration. Uh, the only thing I'm slightly worried about is... Uh, nah, I'm not worried. This thing's got plenty of pull all the way up till its top gear, so... But, I mean, if it was a half mile, then maybe it might have been a bit more of a concern, but it's not. It's a quarter mile, so we should be fine. The half miles away, you have to start worrying about, like, top speed as well as acceleration... It's not enough. It's not enough. Hey, no worries, right? Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Nice to see you. Right, we got one more race. Let's do this. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's go, lads. I've got a fast car here. I'm gonna go. I'm accelerating away. It's time, lads. That Porsche is awesome, by the way. I love that. I could watch you for a lifetime on my favourite movie. This is a tune. The Lambo is off. Very nice. Very nice. A very nice new blue passport. <laughs> Race number two. <sighs> I love the Gallardo. I think Stradman actually did a twin turbo version of this for this car. It's crazy. I'm 99% sure this is the exact spec that he's got as well. The orange with the circle wheels, but I can't confirm that because I can't be asked to go load up YouTube and find the video. <coughs> nice. Come on, go, go, go. Nice. Oh yeah, they added Infinium Raceway to uh, Motorsport 4. Technically, it's called Sonoma Raceway now, but back when it was on Motorsport 4, it was called the Infinium Raceway. All right, here we go. We got the Porsche. Ah, get mugged, bitch. Speedy Mama G. Woo! Let's 
See, I, I think I've done well to avoid having to buy extra upgrades for these events, to be fair. Uh, I haven't really bought many. Um, yeah, I haven't really bought many events. Or many upgrades, sorry. That's what I meant to say. To find another race, I'm gonna send him to outer space. To find another race. The Prodigy just know how to make music. Very nice. Continue. We've got one more event to go. I put a metric fuck ton of caffeine into my bloodstream. Does this actually have caffeine in it? Yeah, caffeine. There you go. I need more. I need to inject. Direct injection of caffeine. Do you know, I... I really want to try. Uh, apparently, America does this thing called, like, five-hour energy, six-hour energy, whatever it is. And it's just like a shot. And you drink it, and it's like a really concentrated energy drink. I don't know why. I really want to try it. <laughs> it's probably shit. It is shit, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're back in the rally car. I could actually add more horsepower to this, to be fair. I need to add more horsepower to this. Oh, no. It's so close. Ah, I don't like it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do the next two. <coughs> oh, that's way too close. I don't like that. I've got space that I can actually upgrade it now. Actually, no, I don't think I can. Because this is A-class still. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh, this is, this is close. This is very close. I'm not a fan of this. This is the tough one. The last one's always like... Because this is the one that you want to win. To get first. If you don't get it, it's second place. Hello? What the fuck happened to that Porsche? Okay, so the last one was easiest... And it got easier as we went through. Hmm. Suspicious. Albeit very temporary because I still have to edit it next week. But I don't have to edit this before Christmas. This is all stuff for the new year, by the way. Like, I think all the videos I'm recording now won't come out until January. So. The backlog is... I I've technically got a backlog of about two weeks. But the backlog is um, sort of like I've got a week's worth of recording to edit. I've then also got a week's worth of edited stuff that needs uploading. And then I've got a week's worth of uploaded stuff that then needs, you know, giving thumbnails and all that on YouTube. So technically I have... A two-week backlog. Um, but mathematically speaking, I only have a backlog of about four or five days at the moment. Like, if I was to stop doing editing in that, I've only got four or five days. I have enough that if I edit, I can then carry on, but then I lose that backlog where I don't have to worry as much so yeah get fucked get out of here
Absolutely destroyed it. Even got a little slide at the end. Give me that first place. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, 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 I love this car. Yo, ASWD, welcome back. How you doing, man? We're still drag racing. We ain't got many more to do, but we're still going in straight lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of a cough there. Ugh. Right. Two more heats. Good old RS200. I love the look of this car, by the way. MW2. Hey, nice one, Cardo. I mean, impossible for the 18 year old that thinks they got their first car and thinks he's fast. <laughs> Honestly, the amount of times that people like think that their boy races as soon as they get in a car. Like, I have sim racing experience and stuff like that. Like, I understand how cars behave, but I still would not get into a car and fucking race, race it until I'm confident enough. Yeah. I'm going to go in a straight line. Er, proceeds to skirt off to the side. Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, on PC and Xbox, you can use mouse and keyboard or controller. So it doesn't really matter which platform you get it for now, um, which is actually kind of decent. Right, for this uh, championship... So for the next three events, I think I'm just going to take um, the Audi. You boy, nice one, Cotto. Yeah, because I mean, that is very close. And I this is the fastest car. And the other ones are all A-class. So I'm just going to stick with this one for now. Stick with the Audi for the entire thing. And then we can move on to the next one. In your heartache. I mean, I literally just bought, um, what's it called? Yeah, nice. Nice one, lad. Yeah, I literally just bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so I really can't buy another game. I treated myself to a nice game. I've already done that, so. Do, 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 do. Doesn't look a thing like Jesus. <laughs> Thanks to you, sir. I am an owner of my friend Pedro. <laughs> nice one. It's a pretty sick game, but... I don't like those type of Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I know people, people don't like it. I, I get why people don't like it, because it is different to the original ones. But from someone who's just coming into Assassin's Creed, comparing how the new ones play and how the old ones play, the new ones are infinitely better. Um, I just think people have a lot of nostalgia for the older ones, prefer the storyline maybe, have just had this much stronger relationship with older Assassin's Creeds, and therefore prefer it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but I, I do think a lot of people have a lot more nostalgia for the older Assassin's Creed. It's the same with Black Ops and Call of Duties. I think Call of Duties are very overrated as soon as they expire. Um, if you look at any of the older ones, as soon as a newer one comes out, the older ones just sort of die out and they aren't as good. Like, Call of Duty is one of those that you, you can't go back to as much. 
And the people that say, like, oh, Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty. Yeah, but you play it now. No, it's not. Like, the best Call of Duty at the moment is very close between Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2. Because the other ones just, just die out. Um, I know it's a slightly different example with, like, single-player games like Assassin's Creed, but... It can very much be applied. That logic can be applied to it. And... I... I personally, I haven't played... Any of the early Assassin's Creed, except for, I believe... It was either one or two. But I played it on the Xbox 360, and it was really buggy. Like, it, it, it played terribly. So, um, I've bought them, though. Like, I, I own every single Assassin's Creed except for Rogue, Black Flag, and Syndicate now. So. Um. But I'm very much tempted to buy Black Flag and Rogue. Just to finish off the collection and then come back to them. Like, I'm very much tempted to make, like, Assassin's Creed my main off-stream playthrough. Because I, I always have a game that I'm playing through on-stream. And then a game that I play off-stream. So, at the moment, on-stream, it's Forza Motorsport 3. But off-stream, at the moment, is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And then it's going to be Origins, and then Valhalla. So, I think I might fill out my collection and just play all the Assassin's Creed's. <laughs> get outside and be unable to get inside with your PJs on. I didn't even know you could have pyjamas on in Mafia 2, to be perfectly honest. Um, most of the time I just played. Um, and if if the character was wearing clothes, it would be like, oh yeah, this character's wearing clothes. I very rarely paid attention to it, unless it's like a very um, like vital part of what's it called? If it's a vital part of the gameplay, then maybe I might have paid attention to it more. But yeah, if something's not part of the gameplay, like straight up, it, it's just weird. But uh, those, ki those kind of bugs are, are very entertaining, I find. S stuff that... Um, like being sat outside. Also, what's up, Death Ray? How are you today? Yeah, I'll own Syndicate on Christmas Day because uh, Kodo has gifted me it. And then when I get paid in January, I'm gifting Kodo a game. Um, as like a late Christmas present. So. Woohoo! <laughs> oh no! ASWD is apparently bullying. <laughs> apparently, the term hooker is not allowed. That's funny. Oh, yeah, you wanted um, stuff through PayPal, didn't you? For your Series X. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm also a bit surprised why Motorsport 7 is alive, to be fair. I'm surprised that's not completely died out. <laughs> like, Motorsport 7 was delisted over a year ago now. So nobody new can actually buy that game. Which means there'll very rarely be any new players playing Motorsport 7. It'll only be people that have played it before. But... Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I won't be able to buy the Series S off you, Kado. There's just no point. Until they confirm that I can use the console with an external disk drive um i i can't buy it physically can't buy it starting thy recording 
break down, break down. Oh, I found a loophole, by the way. Um, this is a class R1 car. Yeah. We're just going to absolutely wipe their asses now. There you go. Ta-da. Done. <laughs> very, very fast. Very, very quick. Straight on to the next one. This is unreal how quick this is, by the way. After this, though, it's going to be very slow. Because then we got Fujimi Kai... Uh, Fujimi... Kaido? I think that's how you say it. The Japanese Drift Mountain. Nice. One more to go. Don't break now. All right, very nice. Oh, Jesus. Hey, nice. Cool. Let's move on to race number two. I'm surprised that these drag races are actually this short. Like, I thought we would have gone on to half miles by now, but... Oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. Mech's cheating. How am I cheating? This is not cheating. The game allows you to do it. Surprisingly. <laughs> Loopholes and cheat codes. I mean, the games are allowing me to take this car. So I'm going to take this car. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and go, hmm. I'm allowed to take this car. But you know what? I'm going to take a Nissan Micra. To go against the Lamborghini. Just because I think it would be cool. Hacker. <laughs> you missed a very crucial cutscene. Honestly, I, I mean, a lot of the time I'm just vibing when I'm playing the game. So, most games I don't pay attention to cutscenes. Assassin's Creed, I think, is the only one that I properly, like, pay attention to the cutscenes. Odyssey, I fucking love. It's, like, my favorite um, single-player game at the moment. Big time. Like, one of my absolute all-time favorites. Um, once I finish it, though, I'm going to be playing Origins, which I believe came out, like, 10 months before Odyssey. So, it basically didn't have... Odyssey didn't have much development time. So I'm hoping that when I get to Origins, it will be a very similar gameplay experience. I haven't played enough of Origins to actually remember it, to be fair. Drop that dirty love. Nice. Just one again. Nice. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go fast. Oh, that <laughs> I've crashed into the wall and still won. <laughs> Unreal. Bound to go down, out, out, out. I love a good bit of Wilkinson. Hang on, what? Did I press restart instead of continue?
confused. We got the same car. If this says heat two of... That's oh, three of three. Oh, strange. Big boss, what up? What up, G? How are you today? Oh, shit. Do you know what? Game crashes. They suck. So bad. Nice. Done. Done and dusted. Alright, we got one more drag race now. There's there's a long list of... I used to play PC, but it's now stuck in a constant three of five updates completed. Um, you might have to... Um, go into your BIOS and wipe the OS and then just reinstall it. But then if, it, if it's old as fuck, it might just be that it's old as fuck. So. Um... Yeah, like, consoles have... There's different, um... Positives and negatives when it comes to... Pros and cons. When it comes to different gaming systems. PC, pain in the ass because... If there's any problem with a game, it's very difficult to fix. Hands can agree with that. And games aren't built for one system when it comes to PC. Whereas consoles, it's built for one system. Everyone has exactly the same specs when it comes to a Series X, Series S. Even though the Series S, I hate that console. But the Series X, is the same. And everyone who has a Series X will play the game exactly the same. So, that's the downside of PC, but there's a good few positives, like no cap frame rates, um, unless the developers put it in, in which case they're fucking idiots. Um, cheaper games. Um, yeah, that's about it. PC is actually cheaper than Xbox, surprisingly. To buy um, games on X, uh, PC, there are multiple different um, like outlets that you can buy stuff. Um, like Enneber, for example, that I'm affiliated with. You can buy Steam keys for like two, three pounds for AAA games. Um, so in terms of buying games and owning them, it's cheaper. However, Xbox does have Game Pass, so in terms of, like, if we're looking at console v. console, Xbox is the cheapest option, and you have Game Pass, which is a good option. PlayStation obviously has PS Plus, which has more games, but they're very much a very small fraction of games for a wide range of different genres, whereas Game Pass seems a lot more focused on triple a titles but there's not much variety of different types of genres when it comes to game pass um so again it's it's down to a preference do you like a wide range of different games or are you very much a triple a game kind of person in which case game pass is going to be better for you uh playstation has the better exclusives end of discussion they just stand out so much better than xbox's Xbox's first-party exclusives have never been great for many years. Um, yeah, they haven't been great for many years. Xbox isn't great at, like, in terms of development, they're not very good at optimizing games either, so a lot of their first-party games aren't very well optimized. Uh, as we know, with Horizon 4 and 5 on PC... Fucking shit. But then again, PlayStation's more expensive. So, it, it's very much just pick whichever one you like and fucking put up with it. <laughs> really. It, it's not a case of this one's better or this one's worse. Because they've both got their pros and cons that they're pretty much on a level playing field. Except for PC. PC's slightly better. <laughs> 
Oh uh, yeah, so of course is a good one, but it's <laughs> I I have a love-hate relationship with the set of Corsa. I think it's terrible on console. Um, some people... Uh, the problem I have with it on console is that there's not a lot of customization with um, wheel setups. So, trying to customize how the wheel feels on a set of Corsa on console is non-existent. Um, it is horrendous. However, mm. but it's a simulator, so it's not meant to artificially make stuff look faster. Surprisingly, at 100 miles an hour when you're in a video game, like from an external perspective, actually looks slow. Have you ever gone to a racetrack? If you go to a racetrack and watch cars go round in circles at 100 miles an hour, isn't that quick like it doesn't look that quick from the outside it's only when you're actually in the vehicle that it looks faster but most of the time video games will either be in the car yeah when you drive IRL it looks faster like if you're actually in the car it feels faster but yeah content managers a pain in the ass so I, I just I'm not a fan of modding games. Um, I, it was the sole reason I bought the PC because I wanted to mod games. I was like, I want to mod Minecraft. I want to mo mod a set of Corsa. I want to get all these mods for these games, modify them, make them awesome. The only game I've modified that I've actually like sort of semi enjoyed modding is Fallout 4, and that has mods available on console. I modded Minecraft to allow it to run VR. Didn't like it. Was messing around modding a set of Corsa. Don't like it. I don't like modding games. It just, it seems like too much of a hassle every time you start modding games. Whereas if I download Forza Horizon 5, oh look, there's an update. Download the update and there's new content. Nice, I'll take it. I'm very much a, I want the easy life. I don't want the hassle of trying to fix shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Sim can make it look fast because you're driving the car. As long as you're in interior, it feels faster. When you're on exterior, it, it does feel a little slower. But that's just how it goes. There we go. That's all the drag racing done. So... We just got to go on to Fujimi Kaido in a very slow car. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.